Uh, well, welcome everybody. We're going to be looking at, again, like Rachel said, Power Map today. Uh, it's one of the latest Power BI tools, or really one of the latest data presentation tools offered by Microsoft. Um, it's actually still in beta, so I can imagine why many of you probably don't have it as part of your reporting solution yet. You're probably kind of working toward that or experimenting with it a little bit. Um, but I hope to show you some of the new things that have come out with Power Map within the last month, uh, about uh, maybe about a month a little bit less than a month ago, they had a new release, and in that new release, there were some uh, added features that I'll, I'll be happy to show you guys today. So again, what we're talking about today is touring data with Power Map, and the reason I titled that the session that way is because really you are creating tours of your data, uh, and that's part of the process of using Power Map. So let's kind of walk through that here. A little bit about myself first. I'm the training director at Pragmatic Works. Uh, I recently was awarded the SQL Server MVP, so I got that going on for me. And uh, I've authored a couple, uh, several SQL Server books, and I also run the local user group in Jacksonville. Uh, I also blog at a website called BIDN.com. That's the Business Intelligence Development Network. Okay? I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about myself because i got a lot of things to show you today. Now, this actually, this session I mentioned that is... Um, is kind of quick. Uh, there's there's some short things to show here. So I will have some time for questions at the end. I'll keep in mind whenever we get to those questions that uh, this is a, a product that's not GA released yet. It's not, not officially released yet. So there are going to be some things that you'll probably see change uh, as it goes on. And the, the, luckily, the, the benefit of how Power Map works is it's an add-in for Excel, uh, specifically Excel 2013. And because it's an add-in, you can get updates more frequently. Uh, I think you'll eventually see this baked into the Excel product, probably the next release of Excel, but for the time being, it's an add-in, and we actually get a little bit of a benefit from that. We get a lot of uh, features that are added on uh, more, more frequently. So what we're going to talk about today is kind of an overview of Power Map. Why would you use the tool, first of all? Uh, what benefits am I going to get from using the tool? Uh, then we'll actually go through the development of creating a reporting solution with Power Map. So we'll talk about linking geographical features fields to Power Map. So Power Map is all about maps, right? It's all about geographical data. So we're going to go through the steps of taking geographical data that you have and mapping it to that three-dimensional map. Then we're going to look at actually bringing in time data. This is one of the great things about Power Map is not only is it going to give you a map of your data, but it's also going to allow you to see that data across time. So if I want to be able to see how the crime in Jacksonville, Florida has been from 1980 to 2013, I would be able to see the progression in, of, of prime data inside Jacksonville for that time period. And I can actually create a tour where I can look across multiple cities and see all that information in a nice, uh, well, basically like a movie that you create. Then finally, that's, the, that's that last portion there, creating a power map tour. That's where you're basically creating a movie uh, for your users. And in fact, you can export uh, power map solutions or power map tours into an mp4 file so they can actually watch those uh, as videos so you can create videos of your data uh, and that's really the the, the, the one problem if you, if you get anything out of power map that you're not happy with <clears throat> this is probably the one thing that they're working really hard on is creating a good export story and I think they've actually started to start to make a good path for that right now the the only export option that you have either is you view it in Excel which is one way or you actually export the tour that you create, or movie basically, into an MP4 file. And once you export it to an MP4 file, of course you can use different kind of uh, video editors to add uh, you know, sound to it, mu music if you want to it, uh, audio explaining what they're seeing, that sort of thing. You have a lot of flexibility there. All right, so let's start off here talk in general about Power, Power Map get a little bit of an overview, and, and even before then, let's talk about probably a really obvious statement here of, you know, why would you, uh, how, how's the best way to visualize geospatial data? I think I actually took this uh, slide from one of my friends, Jason Thomas. I thought it represented the question really well. I could look at geographical data either in, on the left-hand side in a tabular format, or I could look at it in a uh, much more visual format on the right-hand side in, which is what you see power map. So mapping is a, is a very powerful way of visualizing geographical data. And I think it's pretty clear to most of you why having kind of mapping tool like this is important. But just in case it wasn't, I got one slide there to kind of describe that. Uh, obviously, the right-hand side there tells a much better story. All right, so a little bit about power map here. Basically, what power map does for you is it creates a three-dimensional 
visualization tool, a mapping tool that's inside of Excel 2013. It's only Excel 2013. There's no, no add-in for 2010. So sorry, folks that are 2010 users. You can't uh, do power map in 2010. Uh, it is an add-in, so you do have to go and you have to download it, and it is currently still in preview mode. So if you go and you download it, you'll notice it says preview. It's not officially uh, released yet. Uh, it's very clear what it's going to do. It's going to take geographical data. It's going to map it to a map, and it's a three-dimensional map that uses Bing. Uh, so having said that, knowing that it uses Bing, you'll know that you also need to have Internet to do power map. So if you're not connected to the internet whenever you're trying to create a mapping solution, it won't be able to create that solution for you because it's, it's got to reach out to the internet to pull back the map results. Okay? And then finally, I mentioned this a couple of times, you can create tours, or basically like movies, and share it with others. Okay? All right, so let's talk about linking geographical data with power maps, with power maps, excuse me. You have several different levels or several different granularities of geographical data that you can link in Power Map. You can uh, obviously here they have lat long, you have city, country, uh, county, state, province, uh, street, zip, and even address. So it can go down to the address level, and uh, which, which a lot of you probably do have address level information about your customers. Uh, you can easily bring any of these different variations of geographical types into Power Map. And they've actually made some improvements on, on linking those geographical types to your reporting solution. They've made it a lot more seamless. That's the first step whenever you go to create a power map solution is identify what the geographical type is and what the field is that is being pulled in from. Okay? The other popular thing to do is, of course, animate the data across time. I want to be able to see my data, my geographical data, across time in this map that we've created. So what this allows you to do is you pick, pick a date field. It does have to be a date data type. Okay, so it can't just be a year that's an integer value. It actually needs to be a date. And once you pick that date, you can actually animate your map across time. So you can see, like I mentioned earlier, an example where I have crime data that changes across time, and I want to be able to visualize that. 